Welcome back, guys, to our um, number, our Instagram number six, the Loyalist, which we will be talking about today. As um, you have found in the other videos, you can find the notes below the video, and then you can also find the link to take the Enneagram test yourself so that you can, um, yeah, so you can figure out which number you are. I'm actually a number 10 Enneagram number, no, I'm just joking. It is, um, only goes up to nine. But if I was, you know, I could be a 10, right? But, and so you can figure out your number um, using that test. And so we'll just go ahead and dig into our seventh session today and our uh, six, or number six Enneagram. So the sixth Enneagram is the Loyalist. We're gonna, um, Jason's gonna talk about Peter as the Bible figure that um, represents a six in, um, or in the Enneagram. And our Bible reference is 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. And just as we've been doing with all of the other Enneagrams, our purpose is just to better understand the loyalists, their strengths, weaknesses, and communication styles. So we'll go ahead and get started um, on the number six. So as I said, the Enneagram six is called the loyalist. So from that word, I'm sure you can um, see that sixes are very loyal. They are people who are going to stand by their friends and family um, through the thick and the thin of life and all the storms that might come. They are people that um, really care about the people in their life and want the best for the people in their life. So they are extremely loyal, and they will um, always be there for you in your time of need. And the loyalists that I know in my life for sure are that way, that they are um, really loyal and always want to help and to um, make sure that you are in a good place. And so I think that is one of the best strengths of a loyalist is that they're loyal. So... They are um, described as fearful, loyal, committed, and sometimes can struggle with procrastination. And so the besetting sin, so the sin that can kind of um, come back over and over again, or the constant problem, or something that a six can often fall into, is anxiety. Um, being fearful is a, a big descriptor of a six that they um, can often really struggle with fear and not knowing what's going to happen and not knowing um, the outcome. And that can be just a really hard thing that often six kind of have to work through and struggle with um, is just anxiety and fear and thinking sometimes about the worst case scenario that could happen. Um, it can be easy for them, to, for their brains, just to kind of go there. Um, and so it's something that I think a lot of sixes really do struggle with and um, have to kind of work through is just that anxiety piece. Um, and so then the underlying emotion that goes with that is fear. And so they're kind of getting hit with it um, from both sides with anxiety and fear. So um, if you know a six, I think definitely you can be helping them um, by encouraging them with um, as they kind of struggle with fear or anxiety. Because I think that can be often be kind of a really hard thing that they have to work through. And six is really... Um, they often believe that they must be secure and safe. That is um, kind of their motivating factors, the things that they really um, care about and really want to, they really want to feel safe and secure. So obviously during this time of coronavirus, it is very um, hard for sixes because there's so many unknowns, there's so many different 
um, kind of outcomes that could happen. So I think our sixes um, is very hard for them right now in like um, a season of crisis or a season of um, different. That just a season that is different. That they might not feel as secure or as safe as um, they do maybe during other seasons of their life. So uh, we can definitely be encouraging sixes um, with that. And if we can kind of help them um, by, um, yeah, helping them feel secure and safe. And that's two things that if they feel secure and safe, sixes are at their best. And then they are just some of the, the best um, people and they, they really care and will fight for people and really care for people um, when they feel that security and safety. So, um, yeah. Uh, Mr. Whitehurst is going to come up, and he's going to kind of continue to talk about spiritual formation and Peter in the Bible. Thank you. All right. Um, so we are we are on week seven of our study, talking about sixes, and you just heard from a perfect ten, right? <laughs> That's so. So this is a good day. This is a good day for you. Uh, I, I do, before I talk about Peter, I do want to just mention one more thing, um, and I don't want to confuse you, right, with, with these studies, but I think this is very important with a, with a six, especially in this time that we're, that we're in, and I didn't have time to process this with Kristen, so this might be dangerous because she's my Enneagram guru, but I, I, there, there's a thing within the Enneagram right called wings and it's a part of the study that we won't get into as much during our time but basically um, whatever you are on the Enneagram you will also sort of sort of lean towards the next closest number so if you're a six uh, you have both the investigator and the enthusiast that are right beside you right as a seven and as a five and one of them uh, you will sort of have some natural tendencies to, and they call that the wing in your, in your Enneagram. And I think for a six, if you are a six with the wing of a five, all right, that's going to make this a very difficult, a more difficult time for you because not only are you dealing with these fears, but you're an investigator. So you're reading a lot of the news that's out there. You're hearing a lot of the reporting that's going on. And in doing so, as you try to process that, it can create a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety. I'm going to look over at Kristen. Does that sound reasonable? All right. I just want to make sure, right? But, but that can create a lot of anxiety and fear in you as you are investigating all that's going on with this. So make sure that you stay grounded in the Word of God. And I know I typically end with the Scripture, but I just want to start there with 1 John 4.18 uh, that reminds you that there is no fear in love. But perfect love, and Jesus is perfect love, cast out all fear. So, so sixes, especially if you lean towards that, that five wing in your life, remember that, that his love cast out all fear. Now, Peter is a great example of this uh, Enneagram six, right? As um, we, we see that the passion that he has like uh, in, following, in following Jesus um, at, this, at this one moment when, when the Roman soldiers come in to arrest Jesus, like what, is, what does Peter do? He takes out his sword and like he cuts off, he cuts off one, of his, uh, one of the soldiers' ears. He's prepared to die for Jesus in that moment, right? He is, he is loyal to a fault to Jesus. And yet, and, and yet, in the next moment, we're reading about, about Peter. He's, he's struggling and he's denying Jesus. Uh, denying, that he, denying that he knew Jesus. Sort of this self-preservation measure that he's, that he's uh, using when asked about his relationship with and association with uh, Jesus. In fact, he does this uh, three, three times. Uh, but but in the end, we see that Peter 
was loyal uh, to Jesus. He was loyal to his leader um, and ended up even dying uh, for the cause for the cause of of Christ. Um, sixes sixes are like this, right? They are they are very very loyal uh, people. Um, so let's look at some ways that that uh, are some some spiritual formation practices for. Uh, for these loyalists or for these sixes, um, sixes can be tempted to be to be anxious and fearful, as we as we mentioned. Uh, so in that, they can struggle with their with their trust uh, in the in the Lord. Um, and so as as God is is forming sixes, as He's working on sixes, they need to remember that Christ wants to transform. The fruit of anxiety and fear and mistrust uh, into joy, into peace, into courage, uh, and and wants them to have the capacity to trust fully and to trust deeply. Now, some things that sixes are just by nature going to be going to be really good at are things like uh, journaling. In fact, journaling for a six is a great grounding practice. Uh, that will really help them to stay to stay centered um, because it's just a way of expressing uh, faith over fear, right? It's, it's easy to write those words down and when you write them down, it can help you to sort of overcome and to work through some of those fears uh, that, that, that you might have. Meditating on God's Word is another... Um, uh, spiritual practice that can that can sometimes come easier or, or by nature is easy for a for a six. Um, it encourages sixes just to just to slow down and to have their fears comforted uh, by God. Remember, perfect love cast out all fear. So meditating upon God, meditating upon His promises, is just a way that a six can can slow down. And allow His presence and His promises uh, to help them overcome the fears and anxieties in their life. Now, some things that might be spiritually challenging but are so spiritually needed for a six are things like uh, Scripture memory or memorizing uh, Scriptures. Uh, remember, sixes can have sort of an anxious or busy, busy mind, right? So they're constantly thinking through the, the what-ifs. Um, and, and memorizing Scripture requires disciplined and focused effort. Um, and it can be transformative for a six because um, when, when times get fearful or they get anxious, they will have that anchor in their soul to go back to. Remember, uh, I have hidden your word in my heart, right, that I will not sin against you. So a six could say, I have hidden your words of faith in my heart, so that I will, I will overcome the fear that is, that is coming against me. Another spiritual discipline that is really good for a six, but maybe will not come as easy, is that of fasting. Again, it helps them to stay grounded in the reality of God and helps them to live uh, conscious of His, of, uh, or, or stay aware of, of His reality in their in their life and and maybe replaces some of those fear fears and anxieties with a hunger uh, for God in their in their life. Now sixes sixes at their worst um, can see themselves as as defenseless. Um, they can become highly divisive. This is this is probably what we were seeing of Peter in in the story of the garden. He was loyal to his master but but he sort of felt defenseless right um and 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 even in the 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 denial of jesus after maybe he felt like he was caught with his guards down defenseless against those that were attacking him um and and so uh he became highly divisive and disparaging and even even to the point of berating others and so that would be a six at their worst. But a six at their best are some amazing people. Uh, they have this belief in themselves that leads to true courage. 
uh, positive thinkers and, and can be real leaders and, and just have this sense of very rich self-expression when they are operating at their best. Um, coming back to our, our Scripture in 1 John, I think we'll begin and end with that. Uh, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Um, sixes need to remember that we can, we can cast all of our fear upon the one who is the, the perfection of love, and that is, that is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Um, and I, I think it's an awesome thought to think that God has stewarded His or used His love and His authority, His perfect, perfect uh, authority in our life to, to love us, not to harm us, not to punish us, but to love us. Uh, and so God is really our place of ultimate safety and refuge even when life is most most fearful. So why don't we just close out with a time of prayer. I, I think all of us probably in this time of, of the coronavirus will say that maybe we've had moments where that inner six has come out in our life and maybe there's been moments of fear or anxiety. Let's just pray God's scripture over each of our lives right now as we close. Father, we thank you that you have given us the assurance in your word that perfect love cast out all fear. Wherever we're at today, Lord, would you just allow your Holy Spirit to do that in us? Um, would you just cast out any fear that we might have and lean fully on you, who is the perfecter of love? Uh, Lord, we love you and we thank you for all that you have done in us and for us in your strong and mighty name. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great day.